Oh no, but all their plans had to change when a tragedy cast a shadow on their future. It's not looking too positive. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did not listen to some of you in the comments sooner. Romance Club, the app. Now I have heard of this, but I never fully checked it out. It's, it's another one of those Instagram ad games. And sometimes the ads really just blend together. The games just start blending. Maybe it's not one of the ad games that I've seen. I, like I said, they really just blend together. Anyway, that's besides the point. Many of you have recommended for me to check this out and I should have done this sooner because why do the stories on this app sound wild? It's given twists, turns, drama, and not really much romance, which I was a little sick of. Okay, read with me some of these descriptions. Because they seem good. Okay, the Astrid's broken heart seeking work. You join an organization chasing the supernatural. That was your first mistake. There you're tested by strange work and colleagues. This wondrous place, however, does not need believers. Okay. But like, look at these Garden of Eden, soulless, Song of the Crimson Nile. It's finally not just boring romance. Okay, Heaven's Secret seems to be a popular one. There's like three or four of them. You died and went to the Angels and Demons Academy. Devilish lectures, angelic sweethearts, and then temptation to break heaven's rules. What else awaits you in this dangerous, fantastical afterlife? Okay, first of all, well, I'm going back to romance, I suppose. If we look, we the devil guy, he's looking handsome. He's looking like a snack. The angel, he's handsome. It's kind of giving God chef, though. I'm only in the popular section. There's like other ones too. New. No. What's going on with the. Once again, Heaven's Secret. Garden. Of, okay, I want to look at this Garden of Eden. Wait, okay. A tragedy in a K pop group didn't stop its leader. She set on making her comeback, reclaiming her glory, and unraveling her sister's this. Shadows gather backstage. That sounds wild. Ooh, Love, Sin, and Evil, Volume 1. A student falls into a trap set by an ancient evil. Now she must risk her soul in a bloody struggle for her life and the lives of her companions. Her companions. Let me tell you something. If I got roped in to where my life was at risk because of my friends, ancient evil, hi, yes, excuse me, great to meet you. She's right there. I don't really know which one I want to try. And then there was something I saw was called like a diamond rush where it, it said like all, oh, this diamond rush event. There's heavy, okay, all diamond choices in Romans Club are free today. So I'm ready. I'm ready. This one, I'm, I'm feeling this one. I don't know. I'm, the artwork is getting me. So you know what, Garden of Eden, here we come. Oh, we got moving pop idols appear to him. Oh. I was going a little quick. Many dreams of being in that position and getting a taste of worldwide fame. We get a little cutscene. Okay, but people often forget that there are two sides to every coin. Four women began their journey towards success. They were the personification of strength, ambition, and beauty. They won over the hearts of millions. They bathed in glory, preparing for the most important performance of their- Oh, this is going a little quick. Oh no, but all their plans had to change when a tragedy cast a shadow on their future. It's not looking too positive. Focused on their goals and on their pursuit of perfection, they ignored their troubles for far too long. Oh, she's dropping the match on until they lost something valuable. This is quality themselves. <laughs> oh, the camera flashes illuminate the figures of two people as they hurry towards a car. A stately woman in a Christmas was diligently protecting a younger woman from the constant onslaught of the paparazzi. I can barely keep up with this. The reporters trying to get all the details of the incident kept pressing on. A few big questions filled the air. What can you tell us about what happened? Did someone push her to do this or is there something more behind it? How come you weren't looking after her? Despite the best efforts to shield the young woman from the crowd, she could still sense their condemning stares. <gasps> Yet she couldn't feel anything and the depths of her soul was nothing but overwhelming, bitter emptiness. Everything had suddenly collapsed after what she had seen on stage. What did we see on stage? Oh my, right then she only wanted to disappear to get away from all the pain and anguish, so she did that in some way. The noise of the car door slamming shut didn't drown out the paparazzi's insistent blows against the tinted windows. I'm loving the fact we got a full-on cutscene. A single tear rolled down her cheek, but she quickly wiped it away. 
raising her head confidently. She's oh, raising her head. She spoke confidently. Let's go. Okay, so we got the story deals with sensitive topics such as death, weight bias, and body image issues. Okay, so trigger warning for some. The warm weather on that day had come as a pleasant surprise to everyone living in Seoul. To be fair, I'm not the most well-versed in the pronunciation, so I apologize if I messed it up. Okay, so now we're six months later. I was pleasantly surprised by my manager who'd given me a new outfit for the trip to the agency. I twisted in my seat trying to free myself from that torture, a hoodie, loose sweatpants, and my hair bunched under a cap as well as the hood. My sunglasses were fighting off the piercing sunlight, but my mask tied against my face was making it hard for me to breathe. What's the point of wearing a disguise when the whole world knows we're back? <laughs> she is covered head to toe. The car stopped in front of the entrance when an impatient crowd was waiting for their stars. I'm totally rusty. Security staff surrounded me trying to squeeze me through the crowd. It was important to keep a low profile until the last minute, but the fans didn't hold back trying to surround me from all sides. Once in front of the doors, I thought, I should add to the hype, but without going against the agency's rules, of course. I need to do my best to earn the love of the fans. Like on autopilot, I began to remind myself of the basic rules that had been taught to us in the past several years. Oh, we're gonna, oh, okay, okay. The choice you're about to make will affect the plot. If I take off my hood, would that be out of line? I don't know. Keep a low profile? I wasn't supposed to give in to impulse. I turned around just slightly and watched the curious faces of the fans through my sunglasses. They longed to see the face behind the mask. There were many theories floating around on social media and they wanted to confirm their guesses. Soon, just you wait. Oh, I don't know what I picked, but okay. The door swung open and the two other members of my group entered the room. I had not seen them for more than six months. Oni, we missed you so much. She threw herself into my arms and the unexpectedly warm welcome started on me. Okay, Oni's in from a way for women to address older women. Okay, uh, once again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I've completely forgotten what it's like to be hugged. I gently patted her on the shoulder, pulling away, and my gaze fell on Aria standing motionless in the doorway. Are you still mad at me? She muttered something under her breath and stepped inside. Do you think I'm mad because you've been ignoring and avoiding us for months? Okay, I gotta say, she's fierce. That hair, she looks so fierce. Or because Yona, Yona and I tried to hold on to everything we fought so hard for. Once again, I apologize. Why you disappeared refusing to speak to anyone. Aria, are you blaming me? My gaze sharp, I wanted to stand up for myself. Is it that obvious? Oh, the tension is rising. Luna, what Arya is trying to say is that we've been worried. Is that what she was trying to say? Is it though? We wanted to keep being your friends and support you at such a difficult time, but you cut off all contact. A bitter smile involuntarily twisted on my lips. You are mourning a group member, but I'm mourning my, oh, my twin sister. It's a twin. Arya sat down in a chair, leaning back, her gaze softened. Yona gently put her arms around my shoulders. She doesn't want to hurt me, but because of Arya, she can't just keep quiet. Some choices increase. Oh, your principles are ambition points. A principled heroine is stubborn and strong willed and will break the rules to stand up for her convictions. An ambitious heroine is more cunning and diplomatic and ready to do anything to be successful. Oh no, we have to pick our points. I don't feel like talking about this over and over again. We should support each other and keep moving forward. Yeah, they're trying to be supportive, so we'll be yeah, sure. Come sit with us, please. Arya reluctantly approached the sofa and sat on the edge. She was not one for physical affection, but she made an effort to get over her unease. Progress, we're making progress. I'm sorry for breaking the promise we all made to each other at the beginning of our journey. I've been trying to get these words out of you for six long months, but I know you needed time. I think we can. You group members understand and trust you. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, okay, well, okay, there was some nervousness on one. Okay. Staring at her phone, she started scrolling through her news feed. A few more minutes passed before our manager, Madame Park, entered the office. Oh, I'm glad to see you girls together again. I need to know what happened with the twin sister. So she's dead. She died somehow. We stood up and respectfully bowed. We've been talking about your chances for a successful comeback for a long time. She paused for a moment. Was our reunion really the topic of heated discussions? To get back on that stage, you'll have to start from scratch. Does that mean that the producer agreed? 
Yes, there'll be a comeback. You're back in action. All right, period. I involuntarily glanced at the door. Weren't we supposed to meet with the producer? The manager quickly realized what I was thinking. Before you even ask about him, let me just say this, no. No way. Is this like a crush? Is he ignoring me? Madam Park approached me and gently squeezed my arm. You've been away for half a year, but that doesn't mean you're allowed to forget your responsibilities and your manners. Oh, there's something there. I'm sorry. Why doesn't he want to see us? Is it really just that he's busy? She wouldn't have dropped this so easily. What's going on with this producer? There's something going on right there. Soon don't. I snatched the phone out of my sister's hands, hoping that would stop her. Is this a flashback? Oh, pocket the phone? But she continued to get ready to go to the agency to meet with our producer. Yun was unhappy that we'd been working with almost no rest over the last few weeks. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering all this. After Yana faded, she wasn't going to keep silent. Don't try to stop me. When we signed our contract, there was no fine print about not having days off. If we don't follow the rules, then... Then what? With quick steps, she came close and grabbed me by my shoulders. Oh my gosh, her words and actions were confident, but her eyes were filled with fear as she whispered, I am ready to starve myself. I am ready to give up my personal life and my hobbies. We, we don't need to do that. It's fine, girl. I'm willing to give this my all, but I'm not ready to lose any of you, especially not you. When she saw her fear reflected on my face, she suddenly fell silent. We can't keep quiet about problems like this otherwise. Otherwise, what? Soon hugged me tightly without finishing her sentence. She quickly picked up her things and headed out. Before the door slammed shut, Seoyoon called me out to me. Someday you'll understand. Was this the last time we saw her? Or was there more? Yuna and Arya suggested that we use one of the free rehearsal rooms to practice our singing. Along the way, I stopped at the water cooler to fill a few bottles. I then hurried to the room they chose and struggling to hold all the bottles in my arms. Suddenly at the most unfortunate moment, my phone started vibrating. Distracted by the call and forgetting for a moment of my clumsiness, I crashed into something. Tall. The bottle slipped out of my hands and rolled across the floor. Damn it. What are you doing? Castile, the lead dancer of one of the most popular boy groups. Back when our group had already debuted, he was still a trainee, although his potential made him stand out among the rest. I had always been completely focused on work, and I never allowed myself any close relationships with other artists. Okay, trainees are budding artists being coached by music companies in South Korea. Meanwhile, my sister actively met new people and attracted the attention of many in our agency. I was in a hurry to get to my session at the gym, but I slowed down when I heard a familiar laugh coming from the side. Turning around, I saw Siyun talking to Castile. You can take off your mask now. Oh, okay, so this, another flashback. I'm getting confused with the flashback, the flash forward. What if I just like being mysterious? Her infectious laughter was enough to melt through anyone's indifference. You really don't look like her at all. You're a lot fun to be around while your sister is the silent type. Oh, she hit him on the shoulder. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you specifically, period. Am I that scary? Castile touched her waist, slightly poking her, but then he quickly pulled his hand away, probably realizing that he could have crossed the line. Seiyun reluctantly said goodbye to him and walked toward me. Were you waiting for me? Maybe. How long have you been doing this? What are you talking about? I pointed at Castile without trying to hide my irritation. Do you think this is normal? Seiyun, don't let anyone get in your head. Did you forget that? She interrupted me. <laughs> I'm not dating anyone, okay? Is talking to someone of the opposite sex considered a betrayal of our fans' trust? I grabbed her hand and gently caressed it with my thumb. No, but more often than not, a nice conversation leads to feelings, and feelings lead to secret meetings. We went to zero to 100 so fast. I don't want us to get in trouble. I promise I'll keep everything under control. It was honestly just a friendly chat. You're just imagining things again. And by the way, I think he's more interested in you. He seemed very much into your conversation. Oh, maybe he is interested in you. Oh, wow, the twist. The twist keeps coming. Manny staggered back as if he had seen a ghost. He could not take his eyes off me. 
See, oh no, it's my sister's name, which I hadn't heard her said out loud in months. Oh no, 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 it's Luna. Oh no, Cass still helped me pick up the bottles that have fallen from my hands. I'm sorry, you just look so similar. Oh gosh, oh no, that was just, how should I address you? By our name? Just, <laughs> and I should call you, oh, have we never met him before? Okay, or just Cass if he struggled to pronounce it. All right, Cass. His expression was stern, but then he suddenly let out a nervous laugh. Our nicknames and stage names have become so ingrained inside us that we've forgotten our real ones. But then I replied to your sister. She always asked to be called by her real name. I don't know if you two were that close. Oh, we weren't close. Something's not adding up here. It's so strange in the past no one could resist Cass's cute blushing smile, always so full of energy. But now he seems to have lost so much weight that instead of a healthy smile, I only see sharp cheekbones. I pushed away my inappropriate thoughts. Cass turned around. One of our songs could be heard playing from one of the rehearsal rooms. So you've decided to reunite. This is what we all want to do. Six months, that's nowhere near enough time to come back after such a tragedy. Everyone works through things differently. It may seem like a short time to you, but I just couldn't sit still and wallow in grief. He took a sip of water, lost in thought. Maybe he was remembering the past. All right, we got an ambition point there. Even if it was your sister, your twin sister. I, I mean, what do you want us to do? I turned away from him, making it clear that I didn't want to continue that conversation. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. If you're about to bring up all those articles filled with accusations about me, then... Cass interrupted me instantly. I wouldn't do that. You suffered a huge loss and then you got bullied on top of it. Nobody deserves that. That's why it's so unpleasant for me to see what's going on. It would be better if you left, Luna. Oh, it's okay. Suddenly Cass noticed someone approaching and hurriedly handed me back the bottle. I turned around and met her gaze. Who is this? And here you are, back from touring. Miyoon was a solo artist who debuted at the same time we did. Again, I am so sorry, y'all, if I butchered all these names. Well, welcome back, Luna. I hope we won't have to meet like this again. His smile was sincere as if he was genuinely trying to protect me, not offend me. Okay, okay. I was listening attentively to their ideas for her comeback when I suddenly felt someone's gaze on me. I turned around and froze when I saw a familiar face at the door. The person, he bowed to me and put his finger to his lips so that others wouldn't notice his presence. Shall we take a 15 minute break? We just got here. <laughs> Please, I need to go find something to eat. Okay, let's take 15. Who's over hiding in the doorway? They left oblivious to the man who had hidden away. A moment later, I'm gonna I'll have to Google this. I don't wanna butcher this so badly. Reappeared and slowly approached me. It looks like everyone has come to the agency today. Our group is here to record a new song. I'll tell you a secret though, no one wanted to miss your return. I clenched my fist, feeling a little nervous in his presence. You don't mind that I addressed you casually, do you? Back when we were still trainees, you agreed that we could be more informal, but maybe... It's okay, I don't mind. I don't know what kind of vibe I get from him. I'm just not sure yet. I remember you well. A confident driven guy is someone able to earn their respect to his group and become its leader. I couldn't offer you my condolences in person since you disappeared. So now that I've seen you again, I've decided this is my chance. I don't know if my words will mean anything to you, but I'm truly sorry. Thank you. An awkward silence fell between us. Um, I'm gonna keep moving forward. We, we're just, we gotta keep it moving. I don't know if I'll ever be able to fully accept the fact that I'll never see her again, but I won't shut myself away. I'll continue working toward the dream we shared. I'm sure she would have liked that. A cryptic smile appeared on his face. And yet he seemed to also be looking down on me, but he's impressed by our words. Very admirable attitude. But you better be prepared for a lot of people to start asking questions. Not everyone was able to move on in these six months, and your comeback will only make people talk even more. He took a step forward, and I sensed a pleasant scent of lavender. A faint beam of sunlight fell on him. His perfect complexion was spoiled by a blot of sloppily applied concealer under his eye. Well, I turned my purse over and dumped out its contents. I found my compact mirror. I handed it down, and he looked at his reflection and scoffed. 
Looks like it's time to pick a fight with our makeup artist. Well, let's stop getting in the way of your rehearsal. His tone suddenly sounded genuinely cold. Oh, with impeccable grace, he strained his collar and head toward the door. Oh, he changes his tone of voice so easily. Okay. Okay, with, oh, he stopped from all that turning around, he said. You'll have to work hard to beat me in the guy. His words sound like a challenge. Oh, bad. We're coming for you. Don't even worry about it. In case it makes you feel any better, know this. I consider you worthy opponents. Okay. Okay, we're coming. We're gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> let it a small laugh, but he remained impassive. It was intimidating, but at the same time, it made me think. What else has changed over these past six months? And how far will we have to go to restore our former glory? I had to find the answer to that question. Okay, we're gonna break at the makeover part. I did not expect this to be so long. I have questions. I have questions. What happened to this sister? How did she die? And why did some people blame our character? What's that about? Do we trust the other characters? Or do we sense some shadiness in them? Overall, I gotta say, the story's good. The writing is good. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting it. Let me know what you all think of Romance Club in the comments below. Do I continue this story? Do I play another one? I wasn't overly committed to this story. I was just testing one out. Do we continue it? Do we pick a different one? Do you have any recommendations for me to try? Let me know. But thank you so much for watching as always, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.